Is your Boston Terrier acting weird or do you think they're in pain? In this video, I'm gonna cover the four steps you need to follow to help protect yourself as well as your Boston Terrier. Coming up. Hey everybody, welcome to the Boston Terrier Society YouTube channel. I'm Donnie Gardner, the founder of bostonterriersociety.com. Over there is Bella, my Boston over a decade in her normal little napping position. Now, if you're new to this channel, definitely consider subscribing. If you're someone who wants to learn more about the breed, learn what it's like to be an owner, hear expert interviews from time to time, as well as connect with other Boston Terrier lovers just like yourself. Today, what I wanna cover is basically what you need to do if your Boston Terrier is starting to act a little weird, funny, or you think they're in pain. The information that I'm about to share with you actually comes from an article written on bostonterriersociety.com. You can check that article out in the show notes below. And this article is written by Dr. Addie Reinhardt, and it was how to tell if your Boston Terrier is in pain, covering 10 signs of what that would look like. But what I wanna to cover today are the four steps you need to follow if your Boston Terrier is in pain or if they are acting a little bit strange and you're concerned. Now these four steps do kind of just happen one after the other, so it's not like do this, do this, do this, they can be kind of out of order. But really the number one thing you should do is consult your veterinarian first. Let's say, you know, you pick up your Boston Terrier because this has happened with me and Bella where you pick her up and she kind of yelps and she's even nipped at me, which Bella is not a nippy dog, but even the kindest dog when in pain will do that if they feel that when you move them, their pain is actually getting worse. So the number one thing you're gonna wanna do is consult your veterinarian to get guidance on what you should do and even set up that first appointment with your veterinarian because they're the ones that are gonna be able to figure out the underlying issues that is causing your Boston Terrier's pain. Now, step number two is avoid any type of physical activity. You're gonna to wanna to limit your dog's movement just so they can't make the pain more severe. And really, you're trying to make sure that the injury doesn't become worse. Okay, step number three is stay safe. And what this means is, like I said earlier, even the kindest and sweetest dog when it's in pain might have some sort of aggression just because it does not want its pain to get worse. And think of it this way, you know, dogs have really high pain tolerances, meaning whenever they're showing that they're in pain, they are truly in pain. And just like you or I, if you're in pain and somebody starts moving you around, you might get a little bit cranky. So you're gonna wanna either put your Boston Terrier maybe in one of its crate. So if you are taking it to the vet here soon, it has a nice little place to rest, or you can just put it in its crate somewhere away from other pets that you have in the house or children just so nobody's messing with them because they don't want to move around right now because they are in a lot of pain. Now, step number four, what you're gonna to want to do is record the behavior that's occurring. What's great is everybody has their phone nowadays, which has a video camera on it. So you're gonna to want to record what your dog is doing. That way, if for some reason it goes away, at least your vet has some sort of visual and can help with the assessment of trying to figure out what's wrong with your Boston. Now, like I said, with these steps, they can kind of be done interchangeably. So if you see this occurring, you can go ahead and snap a quick video before you actually call your veterinarian. And really the critical piece is getting it recorded on your phone because being able to show your veterinarian what's actually occurring is gonna do way more than you trying to explain it in the future. And out of this entire video, that's what I really wanna drive home as far as this point of getting that weird action that might be occurring or basically them being in pain, getting it recorded to show your veterinarian. So I hope I really instilled that point. So these are the four steps you're gonna to wanna to follow if your Boston Terrier is starting to act funny and just keep this in the back of your mind if anything like this happens in the future. If you wanna learn more about Boston Terriers and just kind of the interesting things about them, you can check out this video that I created here or one of my latest videos here. As always, until next time, life is better with a Boston.